Virgos, we talked about this last week. It's now time to adopt an attitude and a mindset for success. Okay. So this is going to be boundaries around what is the right attitude and what is the wrong attitude? What are the correct plans? What are the wrong plans? That's what the boundaries in Scorpio is. You are cutting the cords, the negative thinking, your weed is the way you think about yourself. That's what contaminates your soul garden is that you think poor thoughts about yourself and it chokes the life out of what you're trying to grow. So it's a big new strategy for ideas. It's a big new strategy for how to think about life. It's basically a fresh attitude on life. That's what the new day is for you. That's the new deal. This puts you in a new seat of power when it comes to love, personal dreams, and children. So you'll be able to claim your power in love, claim your power in creativity, claim your power in manifesting personal dreams because your attitude is on the right attitude, okay? And by the way, gratitude is the attitude of receiving. So you can do no wrong if you're grateful in that mindset. Just a little, little hint about a little sprinkle of putting in that mindset. So you'll be standing in the seat of power when it comes to love and personal dreams. That's really important. Hold that thought for a moment. The new story with yourself is actually in how you feel about yourself. I feel like a loser. I feel this. I feel abandoned. I feel so, you know, Virgos are always telling you the story of how life has been and how they emotionally have not been treated well. They've been mistreated and all that stuff. And you know what? It's true. It's absolutely true. But it's based on your karma. It's not the story you're born to live. So it's time for a new story about how you feel about yourself. It's time for a blank slate. Get out a paper and a, and a new scroll and write a new story about how you feel about yourself. How you feel about yourself has to be wonderful, terrific, optimistic, positive, not doubting yourself. So a new script around how you feel about yourself. This, by the way, squares off with your karmic new story, which is a new relationship with yourself, a new deal with yourself. So Virgos are getting basically a, a reboot of their inner life. They've got a new attitude. They're in the seat of their power when it comes to love and creativity. They're now telling themselves a story that they feel great about themselves instead of feeling lousy about themselves. And it's a new day for how they relate to themselves. They're getting me read. That's my story for your marriage to yourself. They're getting me read to themselves in a new way. And by the way, Virgos keep coming back at me with like, I keep seeing comments about the fact that I'm telling you have good, you have love coming. You do have love coming. If you adopt what I'm telling you right now, a new story about how you feel, a new deal with the way you treat yourself. But I don't believe any Virgo is going to go without unless they choose to starting in 2024. Just saying, put myself on the record for that. It's serious joy, joy, joy.